As promised, I've created a sample project accessible to verified users of the Animation Matching Suite plugin. As you can see, I'm using the free unarmed animations that come with Epic's Lyra Starter Game. Though the unarmed animations are quite obviously less polished than the other animations that come with the Lyra Starter Game, I chose to use them so those of you who purchase my plugin can more easily use my sample project as a starting point for your game if so desired. That said, this project is just that, a sample project. I do not make any guarantees about the project itself other than it uses my animation matching suite. Let's go through some of this project. There is a single character class, which inherits from a custom C++ character class. There are added debug draw features that can easily be toggled off or on. There are three animation blueprints, the base, which is the one holding all the state transition information, the layer base, which is all the data for the animation blueprint layers, and the unarmed layer itself, which is the animation blueprint responsible for holding the animations that are accessed by the other animation blueprints. As you can tell, the structure is inspired by Lyra. Inside the base layer, there is a simple locomotion system implemented. I have comments where I thought comments would be helpful. The locomotion state machine is identical to Lyra's, at least on the surface. There are some differences with how turn in place and aiming are implemented, but that is not the purpose of this project. The purpose is merely to give users of the animation matching suite plugin a starting point and an example for how to implement the plugin nodes. For example, if we navigate to the layer based animation blueprint, we find that the start state implements the sequence matching node, where it is set to use only distance matching. The loop state uses a sequence matching node, and it is set to use only a pose matching. The stop state uses a node, and is set to just distance matching, and the pivot state uses a node, and is set to distance matching as well. For your own project, you will need to determine when to use distance matching, when to use pose matching, and when to use both. Here, again, this is just an example. Importantly, none of the animations use sync markers. Pose matching does all the work of making sure state transitions are as smooth as the original animations allow. I hope the benefits of this plugin are obvious. If you haven't taken a look at my plugin, I hope you make an opportunity to do so.